I want to tell you a story and I'm not going to tell you the title of this story till the end because then it'll really make sense to you having heard the story itself. My story is set in China a very very long time ago in the northern part of China where there are lots of villages and they're all at the foot of a range of mountains surrounding the villages and each village is quite isolated from the others because they're quite a distance apart. In one of these villages there was a young man called Yo Hei. He was an incredibly hard worker. He went out to the fields every day and he worked for the farmers that hired him. Sometimes he sowed seeds in the land, he tilled the land, he ploughed it, he harvested. He did whatever jobs the farmers required. And at the end of the day, they paid him his wages, a few coins, and then he went back to his cottage. He lived on his own. He lived slightly outside the village. For some reason, he had no family there and he wasn't popular. An awful lot of the people used to make fun of him, whisper behind his back, giggle. And when he used to go to the market to buy his food, he would see them huddled in corners together, giggling, pointing at him. He knew they were talking about him. He hated it. And I really don't know why they didn't like him or what had happened sometime in the past. But he was a kind man. He was very kind to animals, for example. One very snowy winter, as he was coming home from work from one of the local fields, he noticed at the side of the road, wounded, a crane. A crane is a large white bird with huge wingspan. And it flies gracefully in the sky if you ever see one. And this white crane at the side of the road had a bleeding wing. There was a red trickle of blood flowing onto the snow. Yohei picked the bird up gently, cuddled it in his arm and took it back to his cottage. That evening, he made sure that it was warm inside a blanket which he'd arrange for it beside the open fire. He put some water in a bowl near it and some seeds in case the bird was hungry and wanted to eat. The next morning early, when he got up, he went over to the hearth immediately and checked on the crane. It was sleeping. And then when he touched it and lifted it, it woke up. And he took it over to the windows. He opened the window of his cottage and released it from his hands very gently and very slowly. And when he released it, it dipped slightly. And then it spread its wings and very rhythmically flapped them and flew away into the sky. Now that's an example of how kind Joe Hay was and how he loved animals like so many people do. And yet, for some reason or other, the people in the village didn't like him. One evening, when he was sitting at home on his own after supper, and it was very quiet in the cottage and outside, he heard a knocking at the door. He ignored it. Very often the local children would come along, knock on his door, and then when he went to the door they would run away and make fun of him and he'd hear them giggling behind the bushes somewhere. Another gentle knock. He ignored it. He decided, no, they're trying to trick me. I know this trick. I'm not going to fall for it this time. I'll ignore it. And he sat there, still and quiet. When he heard the knock a third time, he noticed that it was still gentle. It wasn't any louder. The children usually knocked loud, more loudly 
when they wanted to really get his attention. So he walked over to the door and opened it. And before him stood a beautiful young woman. He stood there silent, baffled, and she said to him, Yohei, I have come to visit you because I want to be your wife. Yohei laughed. What? You must be mad. You don't even know me. You want to be my wife? Everybody in this village hates me. I know about you. I know that people make fun of you, but I want to marry you. I live in a village not very far from here. And you can visit me and get to know me better. And then we can get married in my village where I have family and friends. Yo Hei was amazed. And she said, I have to go now. And you can think about it. She went away. Yo Hei went back into his cottage and he sat at the table and he couldn't believe it. He was so happy, but then he thought, if she never comes back. But the woman came back. Yohei went to her village with her. And eventually they got married. And she came to live in the cottage with him. And as soon as she came to live with him, his life was transformed. She made the cottage so homely. She cut and sewed curtains, she swept the floor and she made, she put cushions all around and made sure that suddenly the walls were painted brightly and the whole cottage seemed a much better place to live in. The villagers were incredibly jealous. They couldn't believe it. They said, there must be something wrong with her. If she's had to come from her village to marry Ohei, something wrong with her, something odd about her. And they absolutely continued to make fun of him. But when she went to the market, they were always nice and polite towards her. And sometimes they came to the door and asked for milk, asked for eggs, asked for sugar. Yohei went out to work every day as he had done before and when he came home in the evening he would complain to his wife all the time and say let's go and live somewhere else I hate this village and then she said no we're happy here I'm happy here things will change let's save a little from the money that you earn every day and soon we'll be able to buy a little plot of land and some animals and you can start farming like everyone else and people will look up to you and begin to respect you. I'm going to stop the story at that point and your teacher is going to ask you to do some activities based on the story so far.